What's up, amigos? Today we have a really cool object. It's a rock with the rock space in it. So double rock, and we have the streamlines going from left to right. And it's cool how the streamlines going around the rock's face come in, and then they get sucked into this sort of vortex area that the other streamlines around the other part of the rock, not, not the rock space, but the actual rock itself, have created. So it sort of converges, and then the that wake really affects the entire streamline the streamlines coming around the entire object, even from the other side. And now we have the Z plane going from the ground up, and we can see just how skewed the flow is. So it's skewed towards like the bottom of the screen. This means that there's a massive side force being produced on the rock, and that's because on one side of the rock it's a very flat face, and the other side it's very curved. So it effectively acts like a wing, but just tilted on its side. And you can see just how much the flow accelerates around that top bit. So it makes sense. Interestingly, the wake around the top half of the rock, like top part of the screen, is quite small compared to the bottom half of the screen. And now these animated streamlines show that the rock is actually pretty decent in terms of streamlineness because you can see that the streamlines cover the top, they shoot down quite quickly, so it recovers the wake fairly well. There is obviously a big wake behind it, but because it's a bluff body, it's expected and it's not nearly as big as what it could be because of these streamlines going over the top of the rock coming down at such an angle. So in this simulation, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you want to get better at CFD yourself, make sure to check out our courses. Link in the description. Peace out, amigos.